So narcissists use, you know, all of their little narcissistic, manipulative little actions. Um, and, and they're all intended to do the same thing. They're all meant to mess with your mind. And at some point, you're going to start wondering, you know, uh, if they're just being cruel on purpose or if it's just a misunderstanding. And, and it turns out it's just part of the mind game. They're just trying to turn you into a different person, a malleable person, a little spongy little, you know, they're trying to turn you into like silly putty so they can just mold you into whatever they want. Something, something just mushy with just poor boundaries. This is narcissistic victim training. That's what it is. It's, it's victim training. It's just like, you know, a psychopathical little artist and they're just painting a portrait of you as someone who's crazy and oversensitive or, you know, without a sense of humor. These are all tactics just to make you doubt yourself uh, or question your own sanity. Then in the end, what you're going to end up feeling is just completely confused and just always on edge, never knowing what's actually really going on. It's like being stuck in the rinse cycle of a washing machine just again and again and again and again. Then here's a narcissistic truth problem. Behind their loving facade is the narcissist hides a weapon. They always, you know, mix in this little pinch of kindness just so you just to keep you off your balance. And they give it to you with this weird condescending contempt. It's like a magic trick. And it's meant to just keep you spinning, keep your head on edge, just always on your toes, not knowing which way is up. Then you're, you're trying to figure it out. It's like, you know, you're, you're looking at a puzzle and 80% of the pieces are missing and you're trying to figure out what the picture is up. And things just keep going. They just get wilder and wilder and crazier and crazier. This is days go on. It's just, if they just keep amping it up, ramping it up. Narcissus keeps you playing all these mind games. And they, they keep you making yourself doubt your own sanity. And you remember yourself, you know, back in the day where, you know, you were like carefree and lighthearted, filled with like love. But now you're starting to feel like a completely different person. Like narcissists are like, you know, they're mad scientists. And they cut open your skull and they mess with all your brain matter, move things around, shift things around. And then they go, I don't know, it came like this. It, just, it was like this when I got it. It's like, no, no, no. These messed up little mind tricks, um, they're all just experiments that they do on your emotions, trying to turn you into some weird, morphed up recreation of you. But it's okay because, you know, we can break free from this twisted maze. And just remember, you have the power to shape your own destiny. You know, don't let narcissists paint this false picture of who you are. You're strong, you're resilient, and you're capable of finding your way back into happiness. But a lot of this has to do with just grounding, remembering what's real. And sometimes remembering what's real is just looking at the sky and saying it's blue or looking at the ground or just feeling gravity or just noticing your own breath. And it's good to anchor to other people too, because other people who haven't had their brains cracked open by a narcissist and twisting things around, if you start talking to them, they'll be like, yeah, dude, that, that, that's really messed up, man. You, what, what, that, that actually happened, which is why narcissists, you know, alienate us from people that, that, that can actually point out what's actually happening. If you ever need help, if you ever need support to just untangle that mess, you know, Dark Covery's here. So like, like, and follow, and you can get daily inspiration as you embark on your path to recovery after narcissistic abuse, because, you know, this, this nonsense that they do, yeah, we can put ourselves back together again. And in the process, we might as well fix everything else that's in there.